for your grace and your mercy. Because it was for your grace and mercy. I wouldn't be able to stand before you. I get struck by lightning up in here. But because of your grace and mercy, your love and kindness, and you know all things, I can't hide. I can hide some of them, but I can't hide not from you. So I give you praise, I give you glory. He left out the back door this morning, but I'm here to give you praise and give you glory. Because I know you know they went out the back door this morning. That's where the folk that know that God is who he say he is. And that when you come before God, you know that he said, if you ask me, I give it to you. You already had it, too. But you ain't finished it. Because you already gave it to you. So you still waiting. Ah, oh, yeah, Lord. You're waiting to see something that's already happened. But you haven't responded, and you can't grab it that doesn't happen. Y'all in the house. I'm going to get off because y'all want to get off it. See, you can't grab what's already happened because you ain't where it's happening. Right. If you was in thanksgiving and praise, you could get a manifestation today. But because you say you believe something, but you can't get with it where it doesn't happen at, in the realm of the spirit and begin to praise God and lift God up. Oh, yeah, I'm about to <laughs> And you will see a manifestation. But you got to see, see, you've been spoiled by the world that you have to see something in order for you to believe something. Yeah. Amen. So you begin to come to church unconsciously and do to God the same way. Oh, I, I'm, not, I, I'm, not, I'm not unconsciously using you think because right now you look at me and say, He's talking to me. You know, I'm talking to you. Because I'm looking at you here. And I know you've been praying about some stuff, but I can't tell that he did it for you. So y'all can look at me and say what you want. I tell the truth. I'm looking at you and saying you can believe what you want, but they ain't gonna tell you a lie to yourself. Cause, Cause if you believe something, some of y'all did with some detrimental stuff and did with some stuff that you did a change in your life, and you don't pray about it, but your action is not getting up. And what the people don't understand with me, I just tell the truth like I as is. Because there ain't no need you keep coming to church. And I tell people all the time, I don't know we coming to church, stay home. Because if you ain't gonna get no results, you might well stay home. Stop you talking about a good word that ain't changing your life. A good word is when it changes your life. It changes your thinking. It changes what you do. A good word ain't because it sounds good to you. A good word is when it changes you and changes the way you think. Oh, no. 
yourself. And your praise and your worship will change when you are relying on God. You can't just live this life without Jesus giving you his grace. And when you get to the point where you got surrendered all to him and knowing that I'm nothing without him. If he don't show up here today, I'm wasting my time. Uh, he don't show up in here today. Uh, I can do nothing of myself. So I praise him and glorify him that he will show up in here today and that he will move on my life personally. I can't talk for nobody else but God. I need you to move in my life. I need you to change my circumstances because I can't do it. And that praise is totally different from somebody that think they got the ability and they can hold me on themselves. Church folks, some of the hardest people to get healed, man, some of the sin folks. Because they didn't know so much. You know what I'm saying? Slave folks got more demons attached to them. Because they think they don't have nothing. And they got them because of their attitude and their life. Is not being fulfilled according to scripture. But then I got so religious and so caught up to the just said, hey, your demon attacked me. Man, why are your finances messed up? Why are your body messed up? Why are you uh, Why you can't keep a relationship steady? Why you everything you touch seem to fall apart? You don't think there's some other influences in there? Going to church all the time, you want to praise by being saved, but you can't stay saved for two minutes. Because you're being influenced by another entity that you're ignoring. And when you try to quote the word and, and put the word on it, it still don't change nothing. Because you acknowledge the entity that you deal with. That demon that's attached to your stuff, you won't acknowledge that it's a demon trying to destroy me. It's a spirit that trying to influence me. That was none of my fault. That was the devil, and I don't think like that. That was an enemy trying to give me a thought in my mind. And sometimes it's so familiar to me that I begin to act on that thought and think it's not. Because I don't know that it's a spirit of anger that come attach itself to me that can make me angry because that's why I said I'm sorry. Because I didn't mean to act out like that. And you don't realize it wasn't none of you. It's the spirit that's attached to you. Because if you knew you were doing it, what you apologizing for? If you constantly did it, and knew what you were doing, why you apologize? Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk about that. Glory to God. Because you was influenced by another entity. But you're so familiar with it and so used to it that you can't tell it's another entity. Oh, glory to God. Because you don't know that you got demons assigned to you to destroy your life. And no matter how saved you get, they still assigned to you. And they might can't live in you, but they can walk with you. And they can influence you from the outside. That's why you always hear between the ears. was another entity that was good. That ain't your thought. You're a child of God. You've been saved. You've been sanctified. You're a church girl. You need the word of God. But you don't know you got a poverty spirit attached to you. No matter how much you get, it always makes you feel like you ain't got nothing when you got money 
in your pocket, but you still feel like you ain't got nothing because you're being tormented by the power of the Spirit. And you just left the restaurant. But you've been in church so long. Say hallelujah, Jesus. 
because God finna do some stuff. And, and, and because she believed, I believe in the God.
的是，最好的录一句。You got to know you. And that's why people got so many preachers and men and women down, and they mouth shut like they got some stuff like staples or something. And they talk about they don't know. They can't even open their mouth to my hallelujah glory because they ain't got the mind. Y'all don't know your prayer moves stuff. So yeah, hallelujah. I'm praising when the man just didn't agree with him. And when somebody gets here, I said, look at God. I said, look at God. I said, look at God. See, right now I said, look at the Holy Ghost. I'm saying, look at the power of God. Look at the glory of God. There ain't no man. There ain't no prayer. That's God. You can't steal his glory. Yeah, that's why you ain't no matter when you're not young. You say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Do it, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sitting up in the line of course and church. Ain't nobody saying that. Now, if you come in and try to put your hands on then I'm going to have to stop you right there. But anyway, some of y'all get a little bold when I have to sit down. Say hallelujah to you. Ain't God good? Amen. Say glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, my Savior, my God, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Ain't God the mighty God? Say hallelujah to God. Say hallelujah to God. Say glory to God. Say glory to God. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Say glory to God. Say glory to God. Ain't God a mighty God? Ain't God a mighty God? Say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Ah, yeah, Oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh glory to God, 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 hallelujah. Oh hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, God. Get the glory. Get the glory. 
ain't nothing to stop you. You, you got to overcome. You got to get over it. You got to let it go. The word of God says, Him that's in Christ overcome the world. You got to stop making excuses. Oh, glory to God. Y'all with me now? You got to overcome now. You got to stop making excuses. Let me get to, let me get to, let me read this again for you. And she read it, but I'm going to read it. For whatsoever, whosoever is born of God, born of God, do y'all get that? Born of God overcomes the world. Yes. Yes. Amen. Your excuses out the window now. Amen. You got to overcome that. Amen. You got to let that go. Amen. You got to trust God. But you got these lukewarm sanctuary. 
hang around with me. Giving you an excuse to act up. Time to get out of it. Amen. Time to stop thinking that God putting up with God. Said, no, you overcome that. You shit that you doing it. You can stop that addiction. You can stop the habit. You can get rid of that girlfriend, that boyfriend, that wife. Ain't God good. Whatever you need to get rid of, you get rid of. Overcome. To so overcome. Man, I'm telling you, man, this time I got the power of God moving in you. God ready to bless you. You got a power in you that can overcome anything. You got a power in you, but if you believe in the power, how many believe in the power of God living in you? How many know you got the power of God living in you? So how can you have the power of God in you, but you can't do this? You can't get rid of this. You struggle with this. How are you struggling with that and you got the power if you're born of God? But some of us must be born of God. Because we have problems overcome. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Some of us must be born of God. Because God gave him eyes and ears. There's a lot of God. But there's only one true God. You must be got that God of religion. You can get that God to save you, to deliver you, and set you free, yeah. and give you the power to overcome that. Ain't God good? But you don't want to overcome because you, you worry about yourself when you believe in God. They say, "Greater Him is in you. God is in you. God is working for you. God is ready to activate that power in you." But you got to stop believing it. You got to stop trusting it. You got to stop looking at it. I am not going to doctor, and the doctor tell me something. When I know by strikes I've been healed. I'm going to praise God and lift God up. I'm not going to, I'm going to be, begin to praise God and lift God up. Because now I know how the enemy trying to come against me. Because now he's in my mind and trying to get me to feel a certain way. When I know by his stripes I've been healed. Jesus Christ didn't heal me over 2,000 years ago. He died on the cross. He suffered. His suffering wasn't in vain. I'm not going to cry and whine about nothing to be a sick. Because I'm not going to be sick. I'm going to be healed by his stripes. Come on, read the rest of what it says. 